My truck is frozen. Look at the finish on this truck. That is beautiful. That is something else. Goes really good with this big tree that's getting ready to fall over. There's another branch coming down over there. You just have to walk around and they fall. They fall off. So I'm out here gonna break my truck free of ice. This is crazy. Let me set this up over here. Crazy. Then I maybe have to take this down to Woodburn and rescue my mother because I'm told Woodburn doesn't have any uh, power. Whole town, apparently. crazy. The reason this is happening is because it's melting. It's um, probably in the high mid 50s or 30s now. This is the snow we had the other day. Be gone. Be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone. Come on, get off here. One of the hazards I heard can happen, my friend Tim just told me this, is that you get all the ice off, and then you're driving down the road, and you forgot to take the ice off the roof. You slow down, and that whole ice sheet comes down <laughs> to join you, covering up the windshield completely. Well, I'm going to finish this up.
This is what happens when you lose power, you have an alternative refrigerator. You don't need anything, you don't need much ice, right? Well, yeah, because it's 34 degrees out here, going down. That's, that's a lot of ice laying to Shannon. Neighbors are hacking it, hacking it something. In tune. Yeah. Wow, look at all this. <laughs> you were hard on the old palm trees there. Yeah. This is why we're not going to get power because we don't have to be because we can turn that power back on. Yeah. Oh, the <clears throat> That's, a, that's beautiful looking wood too, huh? Squirrels. Buried still. Yeah. Careful, you guys. Careful in the back end. I don't want you guys to it. That's so cool. Get my bag. Oh, wait. I want my Magical. Heading into the uh, danger zone out here. It is just ice. This guy came down yesterday. And that guy came down last night too. Over here is where the big boy came down. It's like a giant dinosaur. It's uh, also or, in the middle of the huh? um, arch thing. It yeah, it ruined like the... It knocked it down, though. It took down the middle, yeah. Yeah. It just, like, barely missed the house. It's so weird. Well, it's on the house. Yeah, it definitely it's hit the house. It's done damage. Yeah. But it's just the corner, so... It's those guys we worry about right now. And it's still raining, and it's building up more ice on. I mean, look how much ice is on there. That's a lot of weight. Mm. 
which is over here in Gary's yard. No, not too much. Oh man. The swing that we have back here attaches up in there and that would be really be sad if we lost that branch. Huh. Wouldn't it? Yeah, the roof, a lot of weight on the roof too, you know, all that ice up there. That's a lot of weight up there. There's a sheet of ice up there. Really Time to go inside. <laughs> that was ice, but that would have hurt. Yeah. That would have definitely knocked you out. Can't wait for this to be over. These little squirrels. Uh, go inside before I fall down. The melt continues. All over town, all over the valley, I should say. This has been going on. Broken branches and smashed houses. My shed back there has been caved in. Plastic, plastic shed. It's the morning of ice falling off trees. Blue sky. and uh, ice falling off of the trees all night. It's a welcome sight, that's for sure. Whoa, the street is ice still though. Slippery. Generators are running all over. Well, we've cleaned up all the mess. The, it's spring now. The hummingbird is up and flying around. And it's beautiful. Once again, this is the backyard that was just destroyed. And now it's recovered pretty well. And the hummingbirds are out. Thanks for watching.